Welcome to Wellington Secondary College demonstration showing the intaglio process of etching. In this etching process, it is best to have what is termed a clean area and a dirty area. The dirty area contains the ink on this side, the clean area contains the paper that we are to use for the etching on this side. It is best to have someone in charge of the dirty area and someone in charge of the clean area to reduce contamination. In our clean area we have the paper that we have to use for the etching. It is soaking in some water. The water allows the transfer of ink from the plate much more easier when we come to the printing process. This paper here is for the drying of the etching paper. Here we have our plastic etching plate that has already been etched with an image. And here we have our ink that is to be applied for the paint. I'm now inking up the leather dabber to apply the ink to the etching plate. It is important at this stage to ensure that the ink fully penetrates the lines that have been etched. So vigorous turning of the leather dabber is required to ensure that the ink is in all of the grooves of the etching plate. The plate is now fully inked. Our next step in the process is to remove the excess ink from the surface of the plate but leaving the ink that we need in the grooves of the etching. This process requires a lot of newspaper, some telephone books for finer results and perhaps some cloth as well. I will start using the newspaper to remove the broad amount of ink on the plate surface. It is best to have a bin handy circular motions to help consistently remove the ink from the surface. Uh, it is important at this stage to ensure that you do not remove too much ink. Uh, judgment and experience are what is what is required to ensure that you're not removing too much ink or leaving too much on the plate. However, your first print is referred to as an artist proof and this is to check how the ink and the plate work together in the etching process. Uh, from the artist proof you can then make a better judgment for your second, third and other prints as to how much ink you need to leave on the plate or remove. I'm now going to try some of the phone book to remove some of the 
spawner parts. But you may not be able to see this, but the image is starting to appear. I'll now use some of the cloth. I have now removed what I think is sufficient amount of ink from the plate. Perhaps I've overdone it. Perhaps I'll remove too much. However, we shall see. I'll now ask my assistant Johnson with the clean hands process to remove one of the sheets of etching paper from the water and dry it off using the newsprint. The paper is thoroughly dried, ready for the printing process. We're now preparing our press for the process of transferring the ink from the plate to the paper. The press is fully extended in one direction. The carpet on the press ensures that the pressure is consistent as it's rolled through. Uh, it must be also said that the press is set for, or should be set beforehand, for the, the right amount of thickness of the plate to pass through. So you need to do this beforehand. It's best to put a piece of paper on the press so you don't get the press dirty with excess ink from the sides of the plate. I will now get my assistant Johnson to pick up the etching paper. Thanks. Just come around. Notice how Johnson is using the correct technique of holding the paper corner to corner and he's now going to lower it in one go onto the plate. Good job. I'm now going to just move the plate up as far as it can go. Now, yeah, good, that's right. I have now moved the plate and paper into position, ready for the press to be used. My assistant Johnson will now work the press in the correct direction. We are now ready to remove the paper from the plate. And there we have our artist proof. We can now make a judgement of how much ink we have removed and what we need to do for our next prints. Thanks for watching. That's the process.